guys and welcome back to my channel thanks for being here thanks for clicking on the video so today we are going to laminate and actually adhere our covers to the b6 tn inserts that we created if you have not yet seen the videos that i made about how to create your own b6 tn inserts without glue staples or thread um, as well as the video on how to create the covers uh, and dashboards to use in your B6TN. I will put those in the cards and also in the description box. But for this video, um, I'm going to show you how exactly I got the cover that I created and printed out and laminated using my Scotch laminator. Um, how I actually got it onto the insert I made. So there's a few different ways to do this, obviously. Um, but I prefer this Elmer's Tape Runner. I get these at Walmart. They're very inexpensive and you can buy refills. You can also get them on Amazon, Target, etc. Um, but what I really like about these is that, well, one, they're easy to use. Two, they are long lasting and permanent. Um, but they also like have some room to work and you'll see that in a, in a couple minutes here. Um, that the glue doesn't like automatically dry down and it gives you a little time to work with it. Um, but I really like it because it's a strong hold, uh, it's very easy to work with, and it's easy to find because if I ever run out of one, I can just run down to Walmart and pick one up. Um, but I do also use a Elmer's, uh, not a sponsor, a <laughs> Elmer's craft glue stick, uh, and I'll show you that in a minute as well. So you see here I'm just flipping it over, uh, using the tape runner on the last sheet on the insert for the back cover. And I messed up and I decided to keep this footage in here because you might mess up too and that's all right. So I wanted to show you how you can, you know, kind of fix your mistake, um, at least with this specific tape runner. I know that I've used tape runners before that are a little more, um, a little less forgiving, let's say. So you'll see here, I went to put that back sheet on the cover and I, yeah, there's a big gap there and I was kind of panicking and thinking I was going to rip the sheet. But as you can see, uh, it hadn't completely dried down so it gave me time to fix my mistake and then I just pressed onto the actual back cover rather than on the sheet and just kind of put pressure on it to um, adhere that. So then it is, it's on there. It's strong. I'm done with the tape runner. You can put it away. And then as far as the glue stick, um, again, I do use the Elmer's Craft Bomb glue stick, and that's just, honestly, I, I got that one at Walmart when I got the tape runner. Um, and I find that it works really well. So, um, I really mainly focus on the corners and the outer edges when I'm using the glue stick. Because with the tape runner, it can be kind of difficult to like get right up to the edge sometimes. Um, and I find the glue stick just works really well. So, I just kind of go around... You know all four corners of the insert and you can see there wasn't really glued down and just make sure it's got uh, you know a nice grip with the glue stick there but um, yeah I'm sure you could use any kind of glue stick um, but this one works for me and it was pretty inexpensive from what I remember so um, I just make sure to go around all the corners and the edges and you know I like it because you can always go back and add more later All right, and we're done with our glue stick, and now it's really just about um, making sure that that cover is on there, applying pressure to it. Um, and you'll see that it uh, it's not the most even, it's not perfect, and that is, you know, that's me. Um, <laughs> from when I was, you know, making the pages, um, it just came out a little bit uneven, so you can see that there's a little uh, paper kind of peeking over the... Um, the back cover there so I just went in and kind of trimmed that down a little bit with an exacto knife um, it's not the biggest deal it doesn't really bother me too much but just wanted to kind of get that excess uh, paper off right there on the top all right so now you'll see that um, when I kind of place the insert down it kind of wants to flop open um, and that's just because it's you know it's new the lamination is kind of thick and um, over time it will flatten out and I find that if you um, place like a book on top of it overnight uh, it really will help just kind of flatten it out if that's something that that bothers you but since it was just glued on that's kind of why it's doing that um, and so next here 
this is optional, uh, and I went over this a little bit in the video about creating the uh, inserts, but again, with me, I'm not super precise when making my inserts because they are just for me, they're for personal use, you know. If I was selling them or something, that'd be different, but they're just for me, and I do want them to have that DIY kind of punk rock feel, particularly for this project, so... Um, it being uneven isn't the end of the world for me. It's kind of actually gives it character, but I thought it would be fun um, for the, you know, inside cover as well as the back cover uh, to just add a little washi. Um, I just, I really like to have something on the, um, you know, the inside of the front cover as well as the back cover just to kind of make it stand out and um, you know, if you saw the, the video with creating the inserts, um, you saw that I do put a, a piece of washi down the center of the booklet. Um, because when you're, you know, if you like, for example, if you buy a B6 insert, uh, it's usually going to have like stitching down the center. Because when you're putting your insert into the Traveler's Notebook cover, um, when you go to slide the elastic on, you want the elastic to be in the center of the book. Um, and so, you know, for me, just having that piece of washi down the center kind of helps me see, uh, what the center is very quickly, uh, without really having to think about it. And plus it's just cute, right? I mean, come on. So, um, but don't worry if you're confused about how to actually put inserts into a traveler's notebook cover, I do have a video coming on that because I know, uh, when I was first learning about this, which was not long ago, um, I was very overwhelmed and kind of confused about how, like, the simple stuff. Like, okay, how do I, how do I put this insert in this book? Do I put the elastic in the front? Where do I put it? How do I do it? So, I will be making a video on that. But as far as this washi on the inside and back covers, it's, I mean, it's just a, it's just a preference. Something I like to do just to give it a little flair. Um, I, I chose this little yellow washi because obviously this insert is very bright. It's very different than the other ones I made because it's for Danger Days. Their album that's very uh, colorful and, and bright. Um, and so the yellow was perfect. Um, you will see here that on the, the inside on that first page, I had a little bit of an issue because it was my, it was my error. Um, when I was trimming down the pages and cutting those slits, to put the book together, I actually cut a little bit to the left of the center where I had the crease in the paper. And so there's like a little bit of excess paper right there. Um, I was able to go back later and kind of flatten it out, but I do know that I'm going to be going in and putting down pictures and stickers and everything and washi. And so it's going to end up getting covered up anyway, but just wanted to note what that is. It probably won't happen to you. I've made, you know, six of these inserts now. And this is the only one I had that issue with. And I just decided to go in and, and put some more washi down on the bottom of the, um, you know, the inside of the back cover and the front cover. I just thought it was cute and the green goes really well with the um, graphic on the back. So that is pretty much it. Um, actually, you know, putting your covers on your insert is exciting and fun because you're getting like to the end, you know kind of like that last step before you start using it so i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it uh, please leave a comment if you enjoyed it um if you have any feedback any you know any comments or anything you'd like to say or just to say hi you know love to uh love to have you there in the comment section uh be sure to uh follow me on instagram as well and look for my next video. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys how to actually put together your B6TN in the cover. So you guys stay safe and I will see you next time. Bye!